<laughs> I thought I was going over. <laughs> you're, supposed to, you're supposed to hold your end down. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back. Some days here. Uh, for some of you that uh, have just joined in, I'm Daryl. And I'm Kim, and this is Princess P. She's a 13 uh, year old uh, Yorkie. Uh, today we're going to talk about our search for our uh, next RV. Uh, we're going to keep our 2011 Heartland Landmark San Antonio and we're keeping it up in the northwest. But this winter we want to travel around in something smaller. Uh, if you check out our last video we kind of explained a lot of that. And you can see what our Heartland looks like after Kim uh, with a lot of work went through and remodeled it. But this uh, video I'm going to show you is the uh, process that it took us to find our next RV. I don't want to go into a big long detail of shopping. There's for yeah. older shopping, RVs. Shopping. We, we did the Craigslist, we did the eBay, we did the newspaper. We drove around looking for ones on the side of the road. So uh, I'm gonna spare you all the details of the four or five ones we looked at. And uh, Kim pretty well knew what she wanted and yeah. I pretty well knew what I wanted. So. Um, what did we... My main thing that I wanted, for some reason, I don't know why, I think just because I felt like I had more room if I had a rear kitchen. And that way I wasn't walking back and forth in front of Daryl while he was watching the TV all the time. <laughs> like, he, like he gets upset with me when I do in Maddie. <laughs> so she wanted a rear kitchen so she can cook there in the back, have a lot more open room. So we found a, uh, in this next, next in this video that you're fixing to see, is, was a, uh, a different RV that we didn't know the brand name or anything, but it's called an Alpen Light. It's an RK, uh, uh, well, it's a 31 RK, and it's a Hillcrest, and it's made by Alpen Light. It's a West Coast manufacturer. It's a 1996 with uh, a double slide, slide for the bedroom and a slide for the living room, a 12 foot slide for the, for the living room. Yeah. But we looked it over, we went up and looked at it one day. It was up on the Idaho-Washington border up by Donner's Ferry, Idaho. We Bonner's found it up Ferry. there, or oh. Bonner's Ferry. Right. And we went up and looked at it, and uh, the gentleman that that owned it was out working, so his mother was nice enough to show us and let us in and, and see it. So we went and walked it through and looked it over, and we said, okay, this is kind of what we want. So we went back home, and then what happened? We talked it over and thought about it and wondered if we were actually crazy or what. <laughs> and then we decided, you know, we really did want to go ahead to where we could do a lot of the um, national parks. And we just couldn't fit Maddie into a lot of them. I mean, if you have a 42-foot rig, it's, it's tight. It's hard. And then also some of the boondocking spots that we wanted to do didn't have enough room, you know. We just needed something smaller and we didn't want to spend a lot of money on something, but we wanted to have good bones and structure and sound. Right. So So what we did, we went back home and we waited for the gentleman to get off work. We called him, uh, talked about it here and there, and we made an offer on the RV and he accepted it with the uh, inclusion that uh, we had to do a survey on it. We wanted to go through it, make sure everything was good. and everything was working on it. So we made an arrangement that Saturday to go pick it up. Raining and we, cold. Yeah. <laughs> so we, well, it wasn't raining cold. There was rain when we went and looked at it first. But that weekend we went and looked at it, everything was fine. It was all plugged in. Uh, so we walked it through and, and decided to purchase and uh, we paid $6,000 for this, what uh, these fifth wheel we, you're fixing to see. It's almost, it's 31 feet. He was asking 75 for it. Right. So he, his sister had passed away and he needed the money to go in to do her um, her probate and everything for her, her secession or whatever. Mm -hmm. So uh, he accepted it. We went up there and looked at it and we paid him cash on the spot, signed the title, and, uh, and we, <laughs> we brought it back home the same day. Yeah. Uh, we went through it completely, uh, did a bunch of work on it. Uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, 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 in this video a little bit about what it looks like give you a basic inside view of it you know everybody sees the outside of RVs I'll give you a, a tour of the outs outside uh, here up in the next maybe a video or so but what we plan on doing is going into this uh, RV uh, and uh, doing another remodel on it making it the way Kim wants it and we'll show you that too but let's uh, let's uh, just want to 
preface this by this is what we want to do we want to get something smaller go do some smaller venues right. this winter then if we want to go back to the bigger one we've done not all but we've done what areas that we wanted to get into with the smaller rig and then if we wanted to sell this one or if we like it enough we'll keep it and uh, maybe sell uh maddie so so we'll, we'll see we, we don't know <laughs> we kind of fly by the seat of our pants <laughs> but anyway take a look at this uh, uh video and if you got a minute if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe uh give us a thumbs up if you can it helps us and just throw a comment down there if you're thinking about doing something like this or any questions that you have on on this uh, rig here but uh, we're going to show you i'm going to show you give you a little tour inside the the rv so you can kind of see what it looks like before we did the remodel we're trying to get everybody up to speed here right. uh, so we can get the current uh, uh, what we're doing <laughs> videos now so we're trying to get caught up real fast now that we have the time so anyway and, take a look and take note on how much there actually is so much storage space in this camper that was another thing that actually sold us on this camper it has tons of storage so we appreciate you stopping in but uh, take a look and see what you think of this rig and give us a comment and we appreciate everybody that commented in the last video and gave yeah. us a thumbs up and, and uh, we appreciate all we're going to get our instagram up and running with facebook up and running again here shortly so just stick with us uh, we're getting ready to uh, wind our way all the way around uh, the united states on the east coast and then head back to arizona maybe for rtr quartzite you know back there during the big tent events go back and see old russ at rv or tv yeah <laughs> but anyway thanks for watching take a look at this see you later guys okay here is the 1996 alpen light hillcrest 31 rk this is uh approximately 31 feet long it has the rear kitchen in the back and uh we think this is going to make a good rig for us. So let's go inside. I'll show you the outside a little bit later. All right, as soon as we come up inside, you'll notice right to the left is the uh, uh, kitchen. It has a uh, pull-out shelving. Kim really liked this. She really wanted a rear kitchen. Freezer on top, pretty good size. Kind of like we had in the Class A. Of course, it's not as near as big as the one we have, but it'll work. Then uh, storage. And as you can see, there is tons of storage in this uh, kitchen you got all the uppers there and then you have all the lowers and uh, It's got the three burner stove. This is uh, a wedge wood at wood uh, The uh, Refrigerator is a, a Dometic Royale pretty standard It's got the one big Drop-in stainless steel sink Big on one side, little on the other, and then they've got the filtered water on here. Up here's all your controls, your battery, fresh water, gray water, you know, black water, and then your water pump. We'll, of course, change all the lights out to LED. Here's a fantastic fan in the back, and it also has one up in the front. A little Dometic little RV microwave I don't know if that's the one that originally came with it or not we don't know but I do have uh, all the paperwork there's a book on this this is a two owner uh, unit and got a little radio in here that's where the TV used to go some speakers uh, the one single slide Carpet in here looks good. We do not know if we're going to keep it yet. Kim hasn't decided. But what she has decided to do is remove this blue carpet. So, walking up from the living room area, you have a shower uh, toilet combo right here. 
we're going to have to uh, replace that uh, shower door because it doesn't have the bifold in it. It's got, uh, again, lots of closet space here and a lot of drawers. You got a vanity on the right with a big medicine cabinet. We'll replace all those lights there. Um, again, more drawers. Another sliding door here. Looks like a queen size bed. And that is also on a slide. So what I'm gonna do is come in here and take all the carpet out. Probably change up the balances and the curtains and blinds and everything up there so Kim can redo all that. And uh, again, more storage down here. The reason why we really like this rig was because of all the storage. Again, looking from the bedroom, looking back, really, really a nice unit. So we'll figure out how to put a TV up here and we'll put our own uh, liking on it. There is a trap door right here that leads to the basement that you can throw your dirty clothes down in. We thought that was kind of unique. So this is where we stand here. We'll get it all cleaned up. It's got a combination air conditioner and heater on here with the furnace. Your standard uh, setup. Again, uh, we also have another fantastic fan back here. So our goal is to be able to take this into some parks and enjoy some different scenery that we have not seen because of uh, Maddie being 43 feet. She's a little bit big to take into those places. So, now we showed you a little tour. We're going to get to work. Get it all fixed up.